Hello again, everyone. Brandon here. Today's adventure starts out in Monticello, Indiana. Uh, I've got a little bit of a cold and some allergies, so you're going to get a strange version of my voice today. So you get an interesting version of my voice. Something different or exciting. I am standing on a pedestrian walk bridge, as you saw there briefly. Uh, it's the Tioga Bridge, I believe, and it was a formerly a, a, a single lane bridge, I believe. That's what it appears to be. I suppose you could squeeze a couple of cars through here. But now it is a walk bridge, and this is over the Tippecanoe River and heading that way is Lake Freeman. And this way is Lake Schaefer. So we're going to hit some more stops along the way after we look again at this old Tress Bridge. We're going to hit some more stops along the way and we're going to be in and around probably the Delphi area. So will you like to take the journey with me? You do? Okay, let's go. Found this church coming out of Monticello and Heading towards Delphi, Indiana. It's the Oak Grove Christian Church. Nice looking old country church. I'm sure it still has a few in the congregation. I'm not sure how many, but I'm sure it's still functioning. It appears to be open. It's always fun to find certain things out here. A lot of old churches. Really cool to come upon. Little information on it, the Oak Grove Christian Church. Come join us. I love those bushes, tree bushes. I always equate those with Kingman, Arizona for some reason. I don't know why, but I just do. I know they're common around here, but always makes me think of Kingman. A lot of those out there. And the Oak Grove Cemetery that's next to the church. A lot of old stones in here. A lot of history. I'm sure it's many of the part of the congregation. Most of them are old stones. I'm sure there's some new ones in here. A lot of history around this area. That's a one and a name. That should have brought you good luck. Now we're at the Hickory Grove Cemetery. Someone's mowing in the background. And another cool country church with a sign in the way. And lots and lots of history. Really old headstones out here. We've now made it to Carrollton on the Wabash. It's a little placard, the information from 19, 1836. Not 19, 1836. And at one time, it looked quite different here from this over here. And I'm walking, and I'm walking. A little cut, a little cut off there at the top, but that's the Mincer Tavern in Grantham's Overlook. As you can see, the old bridge. The 1844 bridge was covered, of course, as many were. And you can see that there was a canal here. This was part of the canal system, the Wabash and Erie Canal system that runs through Delphi, Indiana, which we will eventually get to. As I said, I would like to do a little walking around at Delphi with the actual canal system and look at some of that other stuff, because it's very interesting. 
So I thought I'd stop off here and we would look at this, uh, how it used to look here. Very interesting, I would say. Now you're looking at the new Carrollton Bridge. I guess newer. But this is now the bridge and it is pretty cool looking on its own. It's got a great design. I love the arch design of it. And of course the Wabash River runs below. Notice this going by, the little marker up there where the March 1913 flood level was at. Pretty high. I don't know if it's been higher since then, but it was pretty high then. I forgot to mention earlier that that is a lock, and there was a lock here. You can see that it says lock number 32. Bypass flume. That's for overrun floods. And uh, I wish they had a lot of, or wish they had more of these canals around. I watch uh, narrow boating videos in England or the United Kingdom, and they're very interesting. It'd be cool if we had it here. Of course, it doesn't get as cold as it does here, but it would be fun. And it was probably fun then, except for when you're uh, working a job, may not be as fun. But who knows, it may have been. You wouldn't have known any different. Hey, cows. Eighteen fifty six. That was back a ways. Camden Jackson Township Public Library and Museum. I pull over and look at this cool old service station, mobile gas. Might be an antique store, not sure. Looks like it. Whatever it is, it's not open. Or let's just say it's a junk store. But it is cool. We are just southeast of Camden, Indiana. And which is east of Delphi, and what you're looking at is Deer Creek and this cool old truss bridge and a lawnmower in the back. And another shot of Deer Creek, trying to get a little natural sound out here. Hopefully, the wind's not interfering. Now you can probably hear the lawnmower better, but Deer Creek's a nice little creek. And I am, once again, standing on that truss bridge. I'm not sure which bridge it is. I'm sure someone knows. I wish I could get out in that water. Probably 55 degrees at best. A little chilly. This is the old Royster and Carroll County Bridge. Me and the bullfrogs are out here enjoying the view. This bridge I have been over and I wanted to video it because it is a really, I love this bridge. It's a really, really neat old bridge. I'm trying to think of something else to say about it, but it's just a neat bridge. I love these old bridges and it's definitely Neat. Oop, got some geese coming by here. Maybe we can get them. Uh, two geese. 
And this bridge is just east of Delphi. I'm on 300 north. And once again, it is very serene out here. I could spend the entire day just sitting out here with my thoughts. now made it south of Flora, Indiana to the Adams Mill Bridge. I think this is Cutler, Indiana, or Democrat, at least the township is. As you can see, this is an 1872 covered bridge. Pretty good shape that it's still in. Glad to see, because I, I do like covered bridges. Now I'm on the inside. Walking on the bridge, heading to the other end. Walking on the bridge, heading to, well, we may stop halfway. Take a view out the side, see what it has to offer. Let's walk here and take a look. There's the river. Now offhand, I don't know when it, which one it is. But I'm sure I'll find out. Great view. After reviewing the Google machine, this is Wildcat Creek. And this seems to be a place where a lot of people hang out when it's nice out, which it happens to be. It's in the 80s today, but unfortunately, it's going to be snowing on Monday. And there's some people enjoying the creek, as I said. Kids down there, all kinds of people. Looks fun, but seems like it'd be a little cold. Maybe it's just cold for me. They seem to be enjoying it. What's that, boy? He's down at the old mill. Yes, after being at Adams Mill Bridge, we are now at the 
actual Adams Mill, and that's the old mill wheel. Of course, you can see it's not in use because the mill's not in use. Now it's just a historic landmark, and it is a wonderful historic landmark, I might add. A lot of history. Here's another shot of the mill, and they've done a lot of work to get it back to its original state. Would be neat if it could have the actual mill going, but there's really no use for it. But I'm glad it was saved. Things like this should be saved. Great for young people and even people like me to learn the history, especially history like this. Here's some more information on Adams Mill. Really interesting. I love the backstory. That's going to do it for today's video from Adams Mill in Cutler, Indiana. I believe that's where we are. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.